Tommy drop. Ah, let's watch this. Have you ever been petitioned by a cop for? Oh yeah. Hell in your yeah. cop car. Hell yeah, in uniform. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're in Phoenix, Arizona, on the blade, speaking with potential prostitutes, getting an inside look at their life and how it is on these streets. You're pimping out of the kindness of your heart? For sure. Does that sound like an absurd statement to make? Absolutely not. Like when she go to sleep and pray, she praying to me. That's a crazy statement. Once again, we dive into the world. That's a crazy. Nah, that's a. That's a. You do not want to be around. He will kill for some. World of prostitution. This time in Phoenix, Arizona. This story takes place on the blade. The term used for the street where women can be seen walking at night looking for customers. The business of is a complicated one. Usually what you find is vulnerable women being controlled and manipulated by a devious pimp. Sexy red in that Okay, sexy red. Environment where he saw prostitution from a young age. For a young man growing up in poverty, the allure of being a pimp is both financial and status related. Monetarily, it's a great way to make fast money, and the profession of pimping has been glorified in rap music, presenting an image of a smoothly dressed man with cars, women, and the latest fashion. Phoenix has long been a hot spot for prostitution and I mean, if you think about it, most women in Miami that literally go to Miami to be make, make a OnlyFans, they're pretty much getting pimped the f out in a sense. Like, if a n takes you out to dinner and you got a BBL and he f you the first night, you're a prostitute. You're literally a prostitute. Literally. Trafficking. Two things that overlap. Recently, there have been major busts, including one operation that arrested over 300 people in early 2023. While most of the mainstream media believes talking to some local vaguely related to the story in a corporate setting of an office is the way to deliver news, I believe the best way to get to the bottom of the story is to go boots on the ground and get it straight from the source. Today, we do just that. Our story begins by interviewing a pimp, and as the story goes on, we find ourselves in a motel room with a prostitute getting ready for work and her pimp in the room as well. It's time to hit the blade. Being a rapper ain't doing it right. Hustle so hard for them bands because that's what I like. I fuck on a bitch and then I'm out of sight. That bitch gave me brain and that bitch blew my mind. Tuesday night. This is the first impression of the blade. We're gonna show you what we see. Just think that this is somebody's reality. That six, seven days a week. Now that's sexy red. Feed their kids. Like, could you imagine a mom being out here? Mom's gonna go out and work tonight. She'll be back in the morning. That's a. A crazy reality to me. They say this is the world's oldest profession, and I wonder if America is making the right calls and how we're handling prostitution. Would it not be safer to have brothels? Would it not be safer for the, the women, for the STDs? You cut out the pimps, which to me are the guys you gotta cut out of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people where we are right now. She about to suck some d oh, Shit, right now we on 27th Avenue Indian School. That's the blade, but really that's the start of the blade, but you feel me? We just gonna say that's the blade. And what's the blade? Uh, you gonna come down here, you gonna see some fat hoes, small hoes, anything, pigeon toes, but you feel me? Everything down here getting muddy though. To me, it's mind blowing that and a that's man bars. can convince a team of women to work for him, to be on the street, to put their body at risk, and then collect the money for that. Mm -hmm. How do you manage to do that? Well, we're not convincing them to do anything. They seeing that we providing them a, a, a higher lifestyle for them. You feel me? Some females, they gonna be able to go to college. Some females, they ain't gonna never be. They need to run into a like me or like us. Anybody on our lifestyle that's gonna actually elevate them. This scam, do drive-bys, shoot, all that chat. Just keep this in mind. This not even worrying about pimping. He just, that's a little side quest for this. He probably got like a hundred bodies. He probably got ARs, fucking pistols in a trunk, ready to just blow your head off just because, bro. Like, just bored. You feel me? Like, this right here. What do we call them, chat? Chat, what do we call these? He got a hundred STDs. Bro, you think he's fucking these dirty ass? And be able to give them what they need. Be able to, feel me? Put them in their car. Put them in the house. A lot of people, they're going to be in their mama house the rest of their life. They ain't going to never be nowhere. Fuck kids, fuck kids, baby. Feel me? Turn around. You see that? Can't make this up. <laughs> yeah, she going through it. I almost on the road. That away. probably stank too. What advantage do the women have in teaming up with someone like you? They by themselves, they liable to get broke. When you get broke, you a renegade, you out here by yourself, you ain't got nobody to protect a you. Renegade. 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 Ah, uh, that was cringe. Oh my god, too. that they was so fucking cringe. Money. They know you ain't giving it to nobody. Oh so my god, that was you cringe. You need somebody to be able to wash your back, make sure. Oh, I'm 
better have a fucking. Make sure you safe. Make sure you're okay. Make sure you can eat. Make sure you get home safe. You kind of view yourself as the bank and the security guard of your women. I'm everything. When they're out in the street, how much of what they bring in goes to you? Everything. 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 I'm your everything. Like when she go to sleep, everything. Pray, she's praying to me. That's a crazy statement. Yeah, <laughs> it is, man. Do you think that's a fair arrangement that all their money goes to you? 100%. Because it's going back to them in the long term. Anything they need paid for, it's coming right out of my pocket. And that's everything. What kind of things do you buy them? They might need a whip. They might need their rent paid. They might need a house. Their kids might need some clothes. Their kids might need some food. Oh, I f out of here, bro. This nigga is not providing them a fing house. Bro. Bro. This nigga is not a record label. Okay, bro? We were talking about a pimp on the side of the road here that owns like 20 bitches. Nigga tell me I said, man, I get him a crib. I get him a house. Bro, these bitches need a job. They kids might need their daycare pay for. You never know what they might need. But whatever they need, that's why they give it everything they got to me. And I'm going to make sure everything okay. Tell people what a bottom is. That's the you can rely on. Like, all the bitches go, they leave, anything. You can't trust no to stay. All right, why they do her like that? Nigga said, tell them what a bottom is and shows a literal a, a, a literal fucking Miss Puff. Bottom, you can trust that one. That one ain't gonna never leave. Did you say fuck off? Yeah. What does that mean? When you fuck off on a nigga, that mean like you could be fucking with another nigga. Anything. It's really just anything to not to somebody liking. You feel me? Where it's like, all right, you stop fucking with me, but you ain't. Yo, gonna hit that though. Keep it solid and let it. Let I'm it trying to tell y'all, being her like. She like, oh. I'm Ew. How can someone get away with that? That looks like so obvious. What's going on? She ain't doing nothing wrong. She just walking on the phone. You feel me? Hmm. I ain't seen no crime. Is this something that Phoenix police are trying to bust or that you have to worry about police? You for sure gotta worry about police. We go two minutes up the street, you gonna see hella police, but like, ain't nobody doing shit. They don't see nothing I going on. I with the police. Chat, I f with the police. I'm like stupid enough to be seen. How do I you f with women? the police. I love women. For real, I love everything about women, you feel me? I don't even like being around niggas. I only like being around women, you feel me? A nigga ain't gonna keep me paid, the bitch gonna keep me paid, you feel me? How would you feel if your sister was out on the blade? My sister is on the blade right now. In really? Vegas, on my mama. How'd you find your way into this? Shit, bro, when I was like 18 years old. Nigga, he knows his sister out here fucking for some cash? Yo, bro, this is a L brother. I don't care, bro. I would never allow my fucking sister to do some like this, nigga. This is like the lowest of all lows. That's a L brother, nigga. It was like I was with this little bitch, or really an older bitch, but all the time she was a hoe. I didn't even know she was a hoe. She just always had dough. You feel me? She'd pay for a little shit that I had going on. And it came to a point to where she started kind of like, you know, I'm going to teach you the game. She wanted to see me get paid. You so an older woman taught you the game. For surely. What's the relationship you have with your mom? I talk to my mom every day. Does she, she know what you're up yeah, to? Yeah, nah, this nigga might be pimping his sister it? out. She don't like it, but she got to respect me. I got to take care of myself. She see how I take care of myself. She see how I take care of others. She think. Where do you see yourself on the, the balance of good and evil? Straight good. Ain't no evil in me. You feel me? Mm. Everything I'm doing is out the kindness of my heart. I'm trying to make sure everybody that is part of me, I play my part and we smooth. You're pimping out of the kindness of your heart? For surely. Does that sound like an absurd statement to make? Absolutely not. What happens if one of your girls comes back <laughs> and doesn't bring <laughs> She wouldn't even come back. I ain't gonna lie. She know better than to come back and she ain't got no bread. But it's like, for what? What you here for? Like, you know? What's the most a woman has brought back? In? I ain't gonna lie. Don't bring that money back. He ain't gonna say it on camera. He, 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 he giving her 10 cans of bounce that ass with a pistol, nigga. Usually a quota is about a band, but you feel me? I didn't have to bring in like 35 full bands in the night before. Is there a particular day of the week that's the hottest? Saturday. Okay. Sunday morning. Of is it course. a dangerous job? For me, I know how to play the game right, you feel me? I ain't never in my life been in no danger playing this, but I didn't heard some stories, but that's about it. Is it dangerous for the women? Yeah, I say it's dangerous for the Nigga, you already put yourself in danger doing this video. I, I just want to let you know that. You're in danger. You're in danger, danger buddy. I got your eyeballs. If at all times they're not doing a perfect screening, when I mean perfect screen, I mean perfect screening, is any little flaw could really have you jammed up. What makes a good John? He gonna have to pay and he gonna have to keep. Um, of course, keep a typical. Keep... Thing we've heard in Chicago and Los Angeles from both the pimps and the prostitutes out there is they don't they don't have black customers. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Yeah, we don't do no AAs. What is AAs? That's African American. No African American yeah, customers. Yeah, no African American. And why is that? It's never really nothing good coming with African Americans. They usually too aggressive. They want too much. They not paying enough. It's almost. Ah! I'm just saying this ain't. Yo, I, I can't, bro. Like, I can't. This is not racism. 
This is right in front of our eyes, bro. They calling them as AAs like they f***ing health insurance, bro. Or car insurance. Almost like a safety You little head. AA. <laughs> you know, no, I'm just making sure. <laughs> okay. We're going to keep going on the blade. Maybe we'll see you a little later tonight. But um, mm. thank you for sharing your story. And I, I wish you the best, okay? So we're going to hit the blade. We're going to pick up some chicks. Without having any good street connections that can get me into the rooms with pimps and prostitutes, I decided to try my luck by driving around and trying to pay women for a conversation. This made me feel nervous, uncomfortable, and I struck out more than an eighth grade boy at the dance. Apparently, an Arizona YouTuber went around harassing these ladies before, so they were not too keen for an interview, understandably. I always feel like such- Arizona YouTuber went around harassing prostitutes. Oh my god. It's not- I, I, I don't even have to think about who did that. I don't even have to take a f***ing guess in my mind who did that. I can think of a couple people. Oh man, chat. Can y'all take a guess? <laughs> oh, I think he's an AA, chat. I think the nigga that was doing it was an AA. Such a f***ing slimy bastard when we're doing this. It just feels so weird and wrong. When I visit tough places, I always look for people that are thriving despite the environment. We found a boxing gym, so I figured I'd talk to a coach and hear his mentality on how he steers youth in the right direction. We're at a boxing gym right now. As you can tell, kids are working out. They're jump roping. They're getting a sweat. That's lit. See, I love seeing people work out. That motivates me to go work out. Because right now, I look like a fat f***. Mexican. And we're with the coach. What's your name, sir? Rafael Valenzuela. Nice to okay. meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you, coach. Que es el impacto de la prostitution in our area? Niños no no se enfocan en eso ni siquiera voltean a ver a ellos. Ellos vienen y trabajan aquí en el gimnasio llegan se van a su casa. No andan en las calles. Es diferente para ellos. Acá se van a correr a veces y estamos cuidándolos de que no haya gente que los moleste. Pienso que un gimnasio como esto es muy importante para la comunidad. Oh, sí, es bien importante porque, como te digo, los enseñas a pelear, pero también los formas disciplina. Cuando ellos crezcan, vayan formándose bien para, hacer, ya sea para un trabajo, para estudiar lo que sea, les forma su. I just don't get it, bro. All these grown ass men that pay what, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars for some p like to f once, nigga, just go on Amazon and buy a. F Doll, nigga. Su disciplina para ser alguien en la vida. Piensa que la policía necesita ser más fuerte allí. ¿Cuál es la solución para esto? Pues ahorita yo pienso que con todo esto que está de las drogas que están saliendo, que ya ves que hay tantas personas que están envueltos en drogas, también es duro para la policía mantener todo esto pues controlado porque hay un policía o dos y hay como 100 o 200 agentes en la calle haciendo sus cosas. Entonces es duro para la policía. What I miss watching a video on prostitutes. Trabajando en eso. Bangers. Deben de estar un poquito más bueno, enfocados en eso también. Muchas gracias. Que tú haces para la, los niños y la comunidad. So, He a real nigga. Sí. There apparently was a YouTuber that was harassing prostitutes and so that's making it not very easy for us to try and talk. That's to why they don't like AAs, nigga. It was an African American that did it. Who was there? Was a bro? Was it Trey that did that, or was that in Cali? I remember there was a video of a guy harassing prostitutes. So it looks like somebody's getting uh, just got a customer, and they're going to a motel. Yo, recording them is crazy. Nah, now they wives by the seat. They gonna know they cheating. It feels like we're in another world right now. This guy's kind of geeking out right now. Feeling like I was about to fold my cards, as a last ditch effort, I decided to go to a motel lobby and see who I could meet. After standing in line for a few minutes, my luck changed when a lady named Roxy got in line behind me. Here's what happened. What is it like night to night around here? Does it get hectic? Um, sometimes it does. Mainly you have like all the smokers and smoke blues hanging out around here. Sometimes it gets a little crazy, you know, blues? like people fighting and want to shoot each other. Over no. drugs or over like it, the pimping? Mainly over, it's not even got nothing to do with the pimping no more. It's all got to do with the, the pills, like the fentanyl, like it's not their area to take over. As far as oh, so it ain't even about whores anymore. It's about drugs. More. Him some prostitutes. Yeah. Oh, she question. bad. So one question I have is, do you think it should be legal? What up, shorty? I got fentanyl on my.
You want to suck it off? It's safer for the women. To me, it's a job for them, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just it's just like strippers. It should be legal for them to do it, somewhere to go safe, you know? Instead of just walking the blade and then people picking them up and then somebody, you know, hurting them or killing them or something like that. Whoa! Have you ever heard of a bad story happening to uh, a woman Man, on the street? Man, I've heard of a lot. I've seen a lot of females get in a car and end up in the back of an alley, gutted up, cut up. I've seen a girl that was on the blade on Northern in the 27th and they found her body in the back of an alley just laying on an empty bed, no clothes on, stabbed up. How do you view that? Whoa, that's actually scary, bro. The pimp what the f***? Bro, what the f***? A bad guy. I don't think these women need pimps. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Max. why would you need a pimp when you're trying to work for the money for yourself? Problem with not having a pimp, uh, it's like going out in the wilderness without a pack. If you don't have a pimp, bro, girls will start jumping you. If you try to take their business, uh, pimps will like literally try to kill you if you don't sign with them. Like, true. Like, it's pretty much for protection, bro. Like, you're dead ass going into. It's like a hyena going into a lion's den by himself, nigga. You gonna yes. get ate up by them fucking lions. You know? What percent of the rooms here you think are dedicated to prostitution? <laughs> Over there, they can bring as many people as they want. Just the other day, I seen these two girls bring a trick over there, and uh, I don't know what they were trying to do, rob him or what, but they he busted out their window, and then he left, and then they left. It was crazy. <laughs> like, wow. It seemed like a dangerous world to be in. Yeah, especially too for the tricks too, you know? Because they never know what's behind them doors, or they never know what's going to happen. They can get set up. Somebody could be waiting for them to rob them and stuff. And most of these females are doing it for... For the fentanyl, and that's pretty crazy. What? Does the pimp get the woman hooked fentanyl. on fentanyl? Is that part of the game? No, I think that they get themselves hooked on that. Some pimps, if you follow the girl, they'll come right up, right, right up on you and tell you, "Hey, well, what are you doing bothering my girl?" And it's not, and they'll point a gun at you and <laughs> all kinds of shit. It's crazy. Have you ever met a pimp oh. that you think is a good guy? Um, I know quite a few pimps. They're all right. Yeah, you see a lot. You see a lot of. Yeah, she used to get her. Blown out for the pimps. In like 10, 15 like, me, pimpy. They were on high speed chase from here. The motel managers, do you think they 100% know what goes on? Of course they do. Some of them are with it and some of them ain't with it. I guess in some ways I get it. Like, what are they going to do? Say, no, I don't want to feed my family. Like, that's the thing. Like, every person in the chain, at the end of the day, they're trying to survive. Yes, yes. And that's what this whole situation is. Why some niggas say, once you try it, it's a b to get off of it. It's worse than heroin. Sly Glizzy, how do you know what fentanyl feels like? Don't you die from that Like the homeless, the prostitution, the drug addicts, everybody's trying to survive out here. You know, this world is hard, you know? Do you have anyone waiting on you right yeah, now? Yeah, I have them waiting on me. Are they in the, oh, the truck? No, the, no, no, no. Do your thing first and we can talk yeah, after. Yeah, they're pushing a shopping cart, so they have all my bags in the shopping cart. So guys, motels like this, they're hot spots, and your cities, major cities all around the country that someone's day-to-day -day life, the way they put food on the table is to sell their body. But you let me know in the comments, should it be legal? Would it be safer, better, cleaner if it was legal? Or hey, no, that's a line we shouldn't cross as a society. You guys let me know what you think. And one thing that's a little- Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I hate to be that guy, but bro, prostitution is going around. Bro, females, most females do prostitution, they don't even realize it. Bro, if you take a, a, I'm trying to tell you, bro, if a bitch goes out on a date with a rich and literally gets free dinner from that nigga and gets down and they never talk again, that's prostitution, bro. You paying for a, sev you paying $75 at Caraba for some You never know how close a pimp is keeping an eye on you. Some car with tinted windows. I mean, we just saw pimps with crazy guns in the car. I think if you're not bothering someone, they're not going to bother you. We're going to wait for this girl and see what she brings us to. Find these, um, they find, like, people already in. Meet me at the trap. Yeah, like, it's going down. Like, move to the side. Yeah. Like, can you move the furniture out? It's, like, dirty under there. Something she like got a fat-ass butt, nigga! Today. I'm That over there. I killed, like, two big roaches in that room. You, you moved the bed, it was dirty, <laughs> covered, didn't look clean. And they had like little thin pillows. It's just crazy. <laughs> All these hoes for the streets and none want to f your bald headed ass. Why you gotta f ruin it, little? I'll be. Right now, it's mainly over the fentanyl. I'll chop a Guzman, put a stop to fentanyl for the blues to come here. A lot to do with cartel, you know. 
I just got out of prison from for sales of drugs. Like, Typical. I just saw a lot of drugs. That's why. I Typical. After this car accident, everything I stopped. Like I just had to quit. You know, like, I gotta get my shit together. I'm waiting for my settlement to come through, and then yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, a bad gonna work. <laughs> I don't even think they do. This is a dangerous game, and this just one bad thing, you know. How much does this room cost tonight? It cost me eighty-four dollars, but it was supposed to be uh, sixty-three dollars. For a sketchy That's not hotel, bad. eighty-four seems pretty high. It is high. Let me talk to them. That's yeah. a nice room, though, for eighty-four. They're comfortable with it. For some. Yo, what's good for? Yeah. That way they won't be all <laughs> get sketchy. Yes. Hey. Um, I'm in room one seventy-six, right next to the laundry room. Go tell me. All right, we'll see you in a little bit then. Oh my God, He's talk. Uh, so that's her. That's the girl that is connected to the pimps, and she got arrested for selling drugs. And then uh, uh, Arizona does not with AAs. So right now he's interviewing prostitutes, and he's trying to figure out where the girl's going. And he's gonna get the girl in the hotel room, and he's gonna interview him. Back in the day, he did meet African American. Someone in a sketchy cul-de-sac or alley. All right. Dealer would drive up. You're nervous. The cops are gonna pull up. And now they have dispensers. You walk in calmly. You get what you want. You walk out, everyone's happy and no one gets hurt. I think it's pretty similar with prostitution. To see what a future could look like if short was legalized, let's look at two different case studies that are out there. In Nevada, the only place in the United States where it's legal, the results have been encouraging. Sex workers report a great reduction in violence, better relationships with police, and like the legalization of marijuana, the counties that have legalized it are enjoying increased tax revenue and tourism dollars that it brings to their area. In the Netherlands, they decided to legalize prostitution in specific districts that they call tipple zones. Cities that have implemented these zones saw a 30 to 40 percent decrease in incidents of sexual abuse and rape. A study I found from Yale estimates that major cities spend around $1.5 million every year enforcing prostitution laws, and something I thought of is that money could instead be invested to fighting crimes like shootings and theft. Things that are a little bit more major. What do you think? Smart man, Tommy. But you know how the government is, buddy. All that is this secure, like, as far as how to get in. Travelers in is pretty locked down. We're at Miguel. Throw the drone up, see what we can find. There's some weird stuff going on around here. No, you're in the fucking hood with black. Never mind. Hold on. Hey, Rocky. Hey, I be my me. Give a about what you think. I know all of them. My. Ten minutes. Okay, cool, cool. All right, sounds good. Out in the open. There's someone right there. It's a hoop. Thanks. <laughs> How are you? So I'm looking to talk to people. I'm looking to pay people for interviews. Hold on, Bill. No. We just have to make sure we're not walking into a setup. True, cause yeah, that could be a setup too. I think we should bring up one. How you doing? Good, good, good. Um, I can hop out. You want to meet me at the gate? All right, all right, all right. These are my guys. What's going on? Nice to meet you. How long do you plan on going out for? You're gonna go for 25 hours. She running up an all nighter. That sounds exhausting. Not my first time. Ain't she an AA? No, no, no. She so so uh, AA is like the buyers. If they're black, they don't they don't accept black buyers because they had they cause the most issues. That's what he said. I'm not racist. The literal black guy said the AAs cause the most problems. They are issues every time. And this underwears look dirty as. Nigga, ew, what am I looking at? Uh, so what goes through your head when you get ready to go out there? Just trying to stay positive. How dangerous is it out there for you? It could get pretty dangerous, to be honest. Can you run us through a story of an experience that might give people an idea of how hectic it can get out there? I mean, it could get pretty dangerous. I had this one client who go crazy. Like, give, always make them pay me first, and then, like, I'll do the service or whatever. He, like, try to take the money back from me and have, like, brothers and shit that I call and, like, they handle it. Yeah. You can yeah. Not everybody has that, you know? I didn't have that at first. Is there anything you can tell about your clients or customers like? A lot of them are still married and mm -hmm. <laughs> literally cheating on their wives, and that's crazy as fuck to me. What percent of your clients do you think are married? Probably over half of them. Wow. Thanks. Does that surprise you? Yeah. What percent of clients are wearing rubbers and what aren't? Like how? Oh, I don't do anything without a rubber, so. It seems like it would be pretty risky to do it without a rubber. I be raw and them prostitutes talking about myself. Let me eat your. Please let me 
Yeah, you're disgusting. <laughs> I know a couple girls that, that do anything to get their attention. Like, they will literally do anything to get their attention. Can you tell me more about your story or how you got Nikki into just said, I'm f***ing her with the underwear. What? I'm f***ing her with the underwear on my head. <laughs> what does that even mean? I've been doing this since 17. What happened when you were 17 <laughs> and you said, hey, this is what I want to do? Well, I mean, my mom actually, I'm from Indiana, actually. My mom is from Indiana? Arizona. And we didn't have anything. We didn't have a house. We didn't have a car. We didn't have and then my mom left me out here by myself. Your mom left you out here by yourself? Yeah. Where did she go? She moved to Florida with her mom. So is this kind of just survival? Yeah. Here, is there anything that sucks. you think would be important to tell people back who might not know anything about this world? Don't be so judgmental. Why well, I said 17? I'm a peacemaker. I love peace. You don't know uh, what the next person's going through, really. How long do you see yourself doing this for? Honestly, I don't know, but hopefully not too much longer. We've done a similar piece in Chicago and Los Angeles, and one thing we've heard from both pimps and prostitutes in both those areas is they don't do black customers. She said she started at 17. That is bad, bro. I don't need black customers either. Too risky? Yeah. What percent of women out here you think have Wait, what's wrong with doing black people? Back then, when I first started- They said they're too aggressive and they always cause problems. Started working versus now. It's a lot of renegades now. Versus when I first started working, it's a lot of pimp, pimps and, and hoes. And do you think pimps are helpful, or do you think they're hurtful to the business model? As long as they're not a gorilla pimp, then I, they can be very. A gorilla pimp. pimp. All right, bro. Like they, they hate black people, bro. Need to survive in some way. The f is a gorilla yeah. pimp. Is the game plan basically to find customers and bring them back here? I do car dates. Is that the most common yeah. way of doing it? Yeah. Are there any weird fetishes that you come across? <laughs> <laughs> This one guy, he, he hit me up, he's like, are you able to like, I didn't know what scat play was until, oh until I had to Google it when he asked me to do it. Scat play? Who? Ew. Scat play is for feces and scats? I thought it was having sex in a scat pack. I didn't know people like, really like stuff like that. For any family or friends that might be out there Sick. wondering what you're doing, is there anything you would like to say to them? I'm Dude. dead. I'm alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They can hit my line. But I do have a son, and I do um, see myself being more active in his life. When he's not with you, who does he stay with? My baby daddy's mom. Okay, let's go. You in the game or formerly in the game? I'll never leave the game. How young were you when you got into this game? Nine. Nine? Yeah. Whoa, that nigga's in the game for real. Look at the flag. Look at the arm. Ashy as f Look at the fake Rolex. Yeah, bro, that nigga's been in the game. Who got you in this game at night? Just watching. Born in Los Angeles, California. Hey, bro, I would kill this nigga. Yeah, Cap. Did you have any family members on the game? I understand. I would stab this nigga to death. Shoot him in the head. Like, he you right here. How old are you? I'm a real nigga. 34. Now that you're older and more mature, and he started when he was nine. To think like that you were that young and, and put in those type of situations. Oh, he's an yeah. OG. So I hear all the time, pimps take 100% of the money. That to me sounds absolutely crazy. No, really shit, like, What's your he was. She only gonna do what you let her do to you. Bro, my What's dad literally had a bed and literally in the left, like, in the left room, my nigga. He was like, there, something that run their program a little differently, you know? So if people think now that pimps are just a parasite, <laughs> do you agree with that or do you think that's a good thing? It can be, but see, you got one out there giving pimp a bad name. Not bad, huh? Do you ever feel bad for some of that? Holy that's funny. funny. That's what I do. That's what made me stop. A lot of these girls were raised wrong. They weren't loved how they were supposed to be. It took me a minute to realize, like, the life comes out of that. You know, the whole baby comes out of that. That's crazy, like. Huh? This is the root of all evil. This will make Amen. the world go round. This Amen. is the best thing on earth. It'll make anybody do anything. Have you ever had to hunt down a trick and collect There was money? a point in time, bro, where I, I wanted to, bro, I literally, I literally would've did anything for some bro. Like, literally, bro, like. On the scales of good and evil, where do you see yourself? I see myself good. What percentage of women out there do you think have been sexually abused or abused as a kid? A lot. What percent of pimps out there do you think have been abused as a kid? See, that's what I'm saying about this word pimp. You got boyfriend pimping, gorilla pimping, freak body pimping. What is a freak body pimp? These dudes out here that, that, that don't care. They'll pimp a tranny, they'll pimp a, a gay dude, they'll... Uh, oh, no. Like this shit That's reckless. Flat on the motherfucking play. Yeah, <laughs> on the motherfucking play. Ain't gonna lie, me personally, bro. If I was a pimp, bro, I wouldn't care. Also, also, uh, yo, if if you seen Ava as a 
a, a prostitute on the street. Nigga, I'm paying. Nigga, I'm buying. <laughs> nigga. Dude. Dude. What do you want? <laughs> You're sick. Danger doing this job. Every day I'm in danger. 144 years. Okay, I'm Play the big nigga, don't slap the fuck out of your head. It's supposed to put your cream on before you look like a spent journey of sin. After Steve mentioned that he knew of pimps that got 144 year, 420 year sentences, I was curious to know the legal rights of each of the characters in the story. Pimps, prostitutes, and Johns. And it turns out it depends on the state. But let's take California, for example. For a first time offender, if someone pimping an adult, they typically get a sentence of three to six years. But a Damn. really bad pimp who's involved in trafficking and more may get a few decades in prison like this Milwaukee pimp did recently. For the women caught soliciting sex, most states agree that it is better to help the women than heavily punish her. Because of this, prostitution is typically a misdemeanor and instead women are steered towards programs like probation, mandatory AIDS testing, and community service. And now for the Johns. Let's take Illinois for example. Cook Damn, County they get a life sentence for discrepancy in the Department of Justice statistics. In 2010, 43,000 women were arrested for prostitution and only 19,000 Johns were arrested for soliciting it. He decided he wanted to go after the Johns soliciting and launched his National John Suppression Program. When the Johns are caught, they're given a ticket and a fine, and the money from their fine goes to support counseling and job programs for the Women's Justice Program, a program that supports the sex workers the police catch to steer them into a better future. Imagine the money That's real. selling you 422 years in the Department of Corrections. That's insane. All because of a stinking ass bitch. I, I learned a lot. Yo! Yo! I think he said a anything stinking anything ass bitch. shit out of it. Straight up. I think it's at a stinking ass. Great. I don't think, you know, every day that shit on these streets is going to be okay, but it, you never know. I mean, there's so many girls that came up. There's a lot of girls that, that are missing right that now. That are missing. They what? Girls that, um, the tricks took them and ripped them and left them in the alley. Damn. There's a girl that they found over here on Northern 2, and <clears throat> they found her in a suitcase. In a suitcase. In a fucking suitcase. What the hell? Her. What the Like, they don't have to walk the blade. I think that's the cheapest hoe you can ever do. Internet? Cool. Uh, that's more. The internet's the that's, worst. What? That gets dangerous too. That, no, you can have somebody lying to you. Man, that old head don't know what the f he talking about. I think it's the internet. Better, you know, you can't see their face or like what they do behind the f camera. Like that. Oh, they, they are. are. Yeah. Cam it up. You can get through it. Just cam it up. They used to have where get on the internet and do just phone. F you don't have to touch nobody. Go see nobody. I think that's the safest way. I feel like if it was that easy, because then that's what nobody would right be now. doing. It. Right. You know what that's I mean? The, like, that's the number one fear. What's going on right now? These women are ruining themselves. Syphilis, gonorrhea. Like these women are catching. And by the grace of God, see you, bro. This, this, this is why. This is what I'm gonna do. So nigga, somebody need to do a real pimp, like real ass street nigga that got smarts. Their shit don't stink. <laughs> What's the percentage of them that are, are not going to doctors, getting checkups, and that's high. They have the doctors. For those that do take care of themselves, kudos, respect to you. Handle your scandal with the ones that ain't. You need to get it together. That's better. How hard is it to check your? Person to teach them that right. shit. That's what I'm talking about. Like the ones that don't try to take care of themselves. And that's what the f is going on upstairs. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was the ones that go out and have sex for like 20, 30 dollars. Girl, you're, you're, you're really cheating yourself. That's what I'm saying. You know? A baby come out of there. That shit is priceless. At the end of the night, they're going to pay for it. One pimp told me one time because he wanted me to work for him. He told me, girl, you're sitting on $1,000 right now. I'm like, what the f are you talking about? It says the men in the Bible. Quote unquote, men were made from dirt. We were came from dust, dirt. We were gonna return back to dust, dirt. Women were handcrafted. And then they said that we shall not uh, lust. I can't help it, shit, look what you made. Do you guys think that uh, sex work should be legal, that there should be brothels or women can what work What the f out? is that yeah. guy talking about? I feel like it would be a lot more safer. Yeah, yeah, I ain't hear that in no f***ing Bible. You just say made out of dirt? What is this nigga What is he talking about? from prostitutes getting because this job involves women getting into cars or motel rooms with men they've never met, this profession carries a great deal of risk. Sex workers are some of the most common targets for killers. Take, for example, the Chicago Strangler, where 50 women over the last 20 years have been killed, and almost all of them sex workers. When you mix the social stigma of the profession and police forces overwhelmed by cases, the result is many of these killings go unsolved, and the predators out there are aware of this. A lot of these women are also. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. 
hoeing for their addiction just to stay high. How much has fentanyl changed the game in hoeing? Oh man, uh, fentanyl uh, fuck that game uh, up. By far the worst drug that ever hit American soil. I've been 18 months clean off of them, man. Let me tell you by far that was the best feeling, the best choice I ever made in my life was to stop with that. What can you say about the power of fentanyl? It's terrible. I wish I was never introduced to it. I was smoking like 100 pills a day. What percent of the women out there you think are addicted to drugs in some way? Probably like 2% right. don't do drugs. I'd say a lot of them do it just to cope with what they're doing. What, what we have to go through, yeah. Do you ever enjoy yourself with a customer? Like this is kind of a fun part of the job or is it never fun? Yeah, sometimes there's like good customers. Petitioned by a cop for sex. Hell yeah. Hell in yeah. a cop car? Hell yeah, in uniform, right hand on the Bible, on my child's life. Are they good customers? Yes. Oh God! Did you like cop customers? No. Cops? They can switch up at any moment. You never know. This girl told me too that she she had a cop. He would be her regular, and she she would go attend to him. And when she told him she didn't want to do that no more, he gets upset. And now you want to change the rules yeah, and be a little jail. F bitch. You try to put her in jail and stuff. All right, guys, we'll stay safe. Okay. All right. Have guys, a good night. Okay. Guys, no, cops ain't. All right, folks, that's been an inside look into this world of pimping, prostitution, the people behind it, the stories behind it, and I hope you learned a lot, because I sure did. The mission of this channel is always to bring you the raw, the real, real, real shit of what actually goes bro. down here on planet Earth. Mainstream media is never gonna show Probably you this, but I will. Shit. And a shirt that we launched, lot, like, don't believe the lies. Uh, so yo, you <laughs> I so said, if I was a cop, bro, I would have seen shit, bro. I'm getting them freebies and shit. I'm like, yo, you'll stay out of jail. You, better, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me the freebies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You're sick, kid. <laughs> Ain't from New York, but my niggas be chilling. Only a couple niggas that I know will kill me. She said when I fuck, I get it in a feeling. Shorty is slutty when she off the Hennessy. Bitch, they finna knock over Hillary Tech.